Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming through. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. I really appreciate all the support thus far and we're just going to keep rocking. So um, without further ado, this is my look that I came up with for Valentine's Day using the She's in Party stack from Melt Cosmetics. We all know Melt Cosmetics and their amazing packaging and their magnetic magnetic packaging for the eyeshadows um so this is the look that i came up with i do want to let you guys know that um outside of the bold lip i did give another alternative um for those who didn't want more of a bold lip i gave an alternative you know if it's a first date or something and you don't want to go in looking too bold um then you know i gave an alternative look so in order for you to find out what it looks like you got to keep watching so before you go don't forget to thumbs up my video and to subscribe to my channel hit that button like right now it's usually on the bottom left of the video so bottom right bottom right of this video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will be coming with more soon so thank you guys so much uh, for the support and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys so essentially this is what the stack looks like um and this is the mirror. So pretty, you know, purpley. I mean, I know most people go for either purple, pink, or red for Valentine's Day. Um, and so for my Valentine's Day look, I'm going to go more with the purple. Um, I'm still trying to think what I'm going to create with it. But I'm just going to start and have fun. Um, so... I'm going to start with the eyes. As you can see, I haven't put foundation on as yet. So I'm going to start with the eyes and then I'm going to add my foundation. So for my transition color, I'm going to go ahead with this middle shade right here. As you can see, I've already primed my eyes. And this middle shade is called Last Cares. Actually, since we're doing the eyeshadow, maybe we should get a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to keep going with our crease color. So actually, I wanted to record this video yesterday. I went to the dentist for the first time in a really long time. And... Um, I was just going to go and get it like a dental checkup, get a routine cleaning and, you know, and then record my video yesterday so that I wouldn't have to wake up early, um, this morning to do this video, but I ended up getting a root canal. So a root canal and a new filling. I was just, so my mouth wasn't looking too set yesterday to be recording, so I didn't bother doing that. I really want to go in with the lightest shade, which is it's called Skeleton Kiss. It's more of like a shimmery pink shade. Um, I think I want to do that. I think I want to do that. I think I'll do that on this side of my lid. So let's just slowly add that on. Okay, and then for the next shade, I'm going to go in with the darker metallic color, which is called She's in Parties, which is the name of the stack. And that's the shade right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the middle of my lid. Kind of want it to be more of a gradient effect as opposed to just three colors kind of blending into one another. I mean like, as opposed to just three colors like in separate blocks of my eyelid, I want it to kind of like slowly but surely like blend into one another. Okay. All right, and then for the last step, I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade here, which is right here and it's called Mean Streak. Oh, and by the way, shout out to my best friend Renee who got me this um, eyeshadow palette for, um, for Christmas. 
So shout out to Renee, thank you so much, I love it. And I'm so glad and happy to be using it. So let's keep going. I rarely ever do my eyeshadow before I um, put my foundation on, but I felt like trying it for once. It's only when you do eyeshadow do you realize like you aren't perfect because one eye always seems to be bigger than the other. And I'm sure I'm not the only one in the world who has that same problem when they're doing eyeshadow. I feel like one eye is always easier because it seems to be like smaller. What I'm seeing in my mirror is looking pretty good. Um, it's not like too um, blocked with color. It's not like too color block. It's very like more of a gradient type, which is what I was going for. So hopefully you guys can really see that on the camera. So, so far I'm liking what I see. I hope you guys like what you see as well. Um, it's about almost time for me to put my foundation on but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and um, do my eyeliner and my mascara off camera and my lashes and then I'll come back and we'll finish the face together okay so I'm back with my lashes and my eyeliner um, I just kind of realized like I don't like doing my eyes first um, I probably won't do that again. Anyways, let's get through uh, the foundation pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Huda Beauty um, primer, the Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base. Now what I'm going to do is add my blush. Uh, the blush that I've been using a lot lately is NARS Lovejoy. It's like, a, mm, I'm gonna say a pale, rosy nude kind of color with shimmer. And I just feel like the color just goes, the color just goes with everything. So, I mean, I've really been using it every time I do my makeup pretty much. So just in case you thought I was done with the eyes, I'm almost done with the eyes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my She's in Party stack and I'm going to take the, I'm going to take this shade, the She's in Party shade, and I'm just going to use a smaller brush first and foremost and I'm just going to lightly go under. All right, and then I'm just gonna take the other side. I'm gonna go into Skeleton skeleton Kiss. And I'm just gonna add that to the inner corners. You use mascara for my lower lashes. And I'm gonna be going in with Buxom Mascara. For my tear ducts, I'm gonna go in with the Melt Cosmetics Highlighter and Stargazer. And it looks like this. I don't know if you can see the engraving on it. It's really, really pretty. Line it up a little bit. It was looking a little raccoonish, which I don't like. Sometimes that happens to me. Okay. For my face highlight, I'm gonna go in with another Milk Cosmetics Highlighter in Gold Ore. And we're gonna use a pointed highlighter brush and just a really glow. And again, this is what it looks like. It's like a darker gold. The Stargazer is more of a white gold or really like very pale yellow gold. This one's like a gold gold. And again, it has the engraving on it. So hopefully you can see it. <laughs> Um, so I chose two different lip looks for this 
um, Valentine's Day look because I wasn't sure, you know, some people are a little less bold with their makeup and, you know, just want something simple and cute. Especially if it's like a first date, you know, you don't want to go as bold as you would on the 90th date. So, you know, I, I chose two different looks or two different lip looks for, you know, whoever wants to try this out. So, my first look. Actually, I think I'm going to set my face now which would make sense and then I can change the lips so for the less bold look um, I'm going to line my lips with chestnut I'm gonna go in with NARS Roman holiday so it's like a pale pink color looks like this I honestly I can't 100% say if this color is still being sold I've had this forever um, but it's definitely like a go-to pink so this is what NARS Roman holiday looks like and this is definitely an option for you if you are more on the side of a less bold you don't like doing bold lips so this is definitely an option I like it with this eyeshadow look feel free to let me know what you guys think but for me I wanted to go a little bit more bold for my Valentine's Day look so I'm just going to take this off really quickly. For the more bold Valentine's Day look, I'm going to go in with Colored Rain Roulette. And we're going to add that to the lips. I'm a little bit excited because I haven't worn this color in a while. And I'm just excited to wear it again. I remember liking it a lot, but for whatever reason, I just I stopped wearing it. But yeah, so this is the final um, look that I came up with for Valentine's Day using the She's in Party stack, which I really like, by the way, so I'm happy that I have it. Um, but that's really about it. I hope to be coming with like two or three more videos like within the next week um, just to make up for lost time. I have a couple of ideas that I want to get out to you guys, so I hope that you just keep a lookout for me and don't forget to thumbs up this video and to subscribe to my channel because I will be coming with more very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.